And there again, Mr. Steam viewers, my name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and holy crap, I can't believe I didn't mention the lawsuit in the last video. So, I don't, I think I had like heard some vague stuff about it going in, but I like remembered after I recorded the last one, like, oh man, yeah, there was some, something went down that I didn't know about, so I should probably look into that. Um, uh, wait a sec. Oh, uh, what is this? What the? Oh, I guess I moved back up here. Yeah, anyway. Sorry. Um, so, the, uh, Okay, so, basically the, the broad strokes of the story is, um, um, after the, um, uh, after the third, okay, so, okay, um, right after the first, after this game came out, um, Tom Happ, the developer, and his wife had a, um, uh, had a son, and there was some medical malpractice that happened, or something something wrong happened, and the son ended up with a condition called, um, called, uh, um, uh, I can't remember how to pronounce it off the top of my head. The son ended up with a condition that was required very expensive experimental treatment. Um, uh, and uh, luckily for him, this, um, the game was a success, um, so he could... Uh, pay for it. However, and, that, and, and he said he had a malpractice lawsuit in the works, but that's not, that's not, like, amazingly not what this is about. So, this is not the lawsuit I want to talk about, because, um, um flash forward to, um, uh, here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't know, um, flash forward to a couple years later, when Badland Games, like, Gives Hap an offer where the, the so there's a bunch of physical like publishers w willing. To, I'm just gonna move around here while I talk about this. Um, um, Badland Games gives Tom Hap. According to my understanding, I might get something wrong here, and I'll I'll issue a correction in the next video if that if I do. Um, but apparently, so Badland Games is like. Uh, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll give you your, the cut that the other publisher, because apparently other publishers are, were offering, um, uh, bat to pay, uh, Badland Game, uh, pay for the publishing rights to Axiom Verge, which is, because as I mentioned, it was successful. The music here is changing, and anyway, um, so... Badland Games is like, hey, we're gonna pay you, we'll pay you your usual cut, and we'll donate 75% of our revenue, um, into, into the pro, uh, into a trust fund for your son's medical expenses, and of course, they go with that option, um, then they don't end up paying it, um, and they're like, oh, well, there must be financial difficulties, and then, like, they started to... So basically, they went back on their promise to pay for again this kid's son's medical expenses, and and if, and it's like okay, you have financial problems. So why did you make um, this offer to give almost all? Like just don't make the offer. But of course, they wanted. It seems like to me like they wanted Axiom Verge's. You know, they wanted to be the, to be the one to publish to publish Axiom Verge. Um, and so they got ri and so made that offer, and apparently didn't pay him any of the money that, again, was supposed to go to this kid's very expensive medical expenses. So, yeah, and this happened like a year ago, kind of, and, and also, just for the record, I actually have the one of the Badland Games publishing companies. You know, I asked for it for Christmas partly because I knew that some of the money was going to go to pay for this kid's expenses and also had some had other cool stuff attached to it and whatnot. And and so I'm kind of like, screw you, Badland. Like, 
Like, anyway. It's, yeah. Apparently, I have It's funny because all the sources I could find, I did mostly a cursory grant for this. I'll probably look into it more later. Um, um, most of the, most of the cursory glances, most of the, um, most of the, uh, um, uh, most of the sources I could find were from, like, a year ago, and as far as I'm aware, as of this recording, I haven't seen any, I haven't seen this issue get resolved, so, uh, I am, uh, um, uh, I am, uh, I'm curious as to why. My hypothesis is that it was under a, like, it's, there's gotta be some sort of court-mandated silence or whatever. Right now. Um, uh, again, that's only a hypothesis, though. Um, and, wow, like, if the allegations are true, um, about, ah, oh, for crying out loud, if the allegations about Badland are true, um, which, they seem true to me, that is, that is an incredibly terrible thing to do, and the lawsuit is well within their rights, because, oh, um, uh, uh, yeah, so, that's, those are my thoughts on it, um, uh, because uh, again, like, if they had financial difficulty, they had financial difficulty, sure, but they also kept making stuff, and they shouldn't have, if they, couldn't keep their promises, they shouldn't have made those promises, basically. Oh, I remember how I'm supposed to get in here. Um, yeah, so... Alright, back to the game. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just felt like... I felt, like, wrong to not bring that up. And it also just felt like a bizarre story. And, again, it wasn't... Like, even if I hadn't bought the physical copy for Switch, or gotten it for Christmas, I should say, I didn't show my own money on it, but, um, uh, even, even then, like, oh, sorry, um, uh, even then, like, that is, even then, that is, Um, uh... Oh, for Pete's sakes! Wow. Um... Yeah, so, uh... Um, uh... Yeah, that was hard to hear about. Like... Like... Talk about a breach of trust. <laughs> so yeah, bad that game sucks, and I hope Axiom Verge 2 gets a better publisher. Um, because I want to point out that I don't think they actually have denied it. They, I don't think they've actually denied the allegations. Um, I think they've... But I think... I don't know. It's... It's... Um, I, I also don't think they've confirmed. I don't know. It's... It's weird. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can, um... Doesn't look like I can glitch these guys yet. Jeez. So 
So yeah, I think you eventually get a glitch, if I remember right. Again, it's been a while since I've done it. This is about the point I stop playing, usually when I try and replay this. Um, uh, I think this... The, um, this is kind of cheap, but... Oh, for crying out loud, the stupid... They kind of remind me of the birders from Shovel Knight. Um, uh, yeah, so... Wow. Again, I'm still kind of appalled by what... By the allegations. Um, uh, and unfortunately, I, I, I wish they weren't credible. I wish this was just... Because Axiom Verge making false allegations to take a corporation... Or, sorry, not Axiom Verge. Tom Hap. Um... A little auteur theory Freudian slip, I guess. Um, Tom Hap taking, like, making false allegations um, to take a to take a corporation to court. I don't think it actually happened. But even if it did, that wouldn't be nearly as bad as a corporation making a promise to give to pay money to help a sick kid and then not giving them money, using that money for other things. Um, Uh, yeah, so, so, honestly, I wish, I wish, um, um, I wish these allegations were made up, because it wouldn't be as bad as, um, as it would be true, but I do think they are true, just to be absolutely true. Have a, this might be, whoa, whoa, slow down. I'm screen tearing again, I gotta check that out. What the crap? Holy cow, that is some bad screen tearing. And slow down, I have not experienced this problem elsewhere. Um, uh, interesting. I wonder if it's something to do with my computer. Uh, anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... Okay, so here we got a little lore log, I think. It calls itself Zader. I don't know how I know this, but it, I do. Strange that such a thing could have, would have language. Stranger still that it would have a personal identity. I'm not sure how long it can last. News more and more each passing day. Sound is a deafening throb. Sight is a kaleidoscopic fire. Smell and taste opens up entire worlds of terror. Norse's touch, a tingling, writhing, itching ass. So this feels kind of Lovecraftian in some ways. It's expanding, supplanting. There won't be anything to save when it's done. Well, that's not ominous at all. Oh, whoa. So yeah, they're, they're too powerful to... Subconsciously remembered that, or if I just got lucky. Who knows? Anyway, um, it's interesting how even though I I am gonna, oh, uh, even though I know that I'm gonna be, I, I'll have my progress saved when I die. I still feel relieved <laughs> when I get um. Uh, when I get to a save point, partly because it doesn't mean that it means I don't need to backtrack as much. Um, uh, 
when if I die. So yeah, glitching those guys makes them break certain barriers. Bubbles, I guess, go from really, like, from indest, like, really easily breakable to just completely indestructible if you. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, what do we got? So yeah, glitching these guys makes them shoot at health instead of baddies. That's nice. And then we also have another health node. Have I been in here before? Um, oh, I can't jump. Uh, so close. I wonder if there's going to be an upgrade for that. I wonder if there's going to be an upgrade for that. The Metroidvania equivalent of they should make a religion out of this. Or you could make a religion out of this. Okay. We. So yeah, this does feel different than the first area. Just, again, not as drastically as, um, as something like Ow. Um, as something like the different areas of Zemus. So glitching those guys caused them to all link together, and when I killed one, they all died. Uh, which is kind of dark and freaky when you think about it. Um, oh, hey, is this one of the... Oh, nah, it's just an upgrade. Um, uh, so I think you need a cheat code to decipher that. Okay, um, and yeah. Die! Holy cow, that's not as good as sound at all. One thing this game has over the original Metroid is even though there's a lot of like, um, you know, drilling at random holes until you see... I can't remember how I get over here. Until, until you find the thing you need. To, um, to unlock, to, to get the secret. It's never like a, a required, you know, there's never a part, part where you just have to like, I think there's one part in Metroid that I, I never got to, but I, I heard from, from gaming group, from Mark Brown's video about it. Apparently you have to like jump into lava and like all the other lava hurts you, but not this lava, this is special lava. And it's like, wow, like how do you, like, like, I guess you were trying to sell more strategy guides or something? I don't know. So this game has a lot of, you know, this, trying to find secrets, but it's more like finding extra upgrades rather than, um, just, like, the way forward. So you're, you're rewarded for, like, jump, jumping all over the place and trying to find new stuff, but, you know, Much better than trying to find the one lava pool that won't break. Oh yeah, I can't get that yet. But it's good to know that it exists. I also like how the glitch gun can move. Oh crap! Can uh, move through walls because it it kind of reinforces the um, the out of bounds nature of it. Dad, I kind of wish other guns would be able to break the walls. Yes, 
guess you can't always get all, what you want. We've tried some time. And you might just want to get what you need. Because <laughs> that's my... That's... The, the people who listen to the Rolling Stones are the... People who watch my videos. Although, who knows? That might actually be the case. Um, I also... I'm not sure that that is a Rolling Stones song. Um... I don't know. Now I'm thinking about Mark Marin's um, stories on the rolling, like, not, well, jokes about, or a story, funny story about his going to the Rolling Stones concert. Um, yeah, Mark Marin's pretty funny. I'm really into that kind of dry, almost cynical at times humor, like with Mark Marin, uh, David Cross, who I praise quite a bit. An edgy comic who actually knows what he's doing and uses his edginess for good. Um, uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, I remember it. Yeah, I don't like these guys. I'm gonna try the other door, see if that takes me anywhere that's less nerve-wracking. You can break those, I don't know why you would. Um, I'm trying to find... I know that in my last game there was something kind of weird that I found earlier. I don't know... That if it... Because I think it's... I think there are specific points where they can spawn. I don't know if, that, if one of them is here. Oh, I guess this might be why you want to break them. I still don't know why you would design these things to be breakable, but eh. Oh, I know. Let's see. So the sound mixing of this feels a bit off. Um, uh, not like it, not like bad, but just a bit weird. Then again, if my early videos are, are, are anything to go by, I'm the last person who should be complaining about sound mixing problems. I guess this is the equivalent of a shotgun and this is the equivalent of a sawed-off shotgun? I don't know. I don't know much about guns. I mostly know, I'm mostly- I know way more about virtual guns than real guns. I don't think- and I'm not ashamed of anything. So here we're going to another area. Okay, so this area I remember being very- ending up getting very confused about. Let's see. Uh, 
I, yeah, I still think this game is better than Super Metroid. Um, uh, also, there's a point of no return here that I might have already crossed. By that I mean a... There's like a, a random jump in this game that, um, uh, there's like a random jump in this game that is very, like, innocuous, but also, again, means you can't, um, explore until a much later part of the game. It's not, it's not, I guess it's not really, I shouldn't call it a point of no return, I, should, I don't know what it would call it, though. Um, Oh, I think it's up here. Yeah, it's this room. Why is my screen doing that? So yeah, I think I just crossed it. Yeah, I can't, I can't go back. I mean, I can eventually, just not right now. It's actually kind of amazing how, again, like, innocuous that feels. Uh, but it's like, nah, nope. You messed up. You done goofed. So yeah, I'm definitely going to use a walkthrough if I ever get really stuck. I don't know if I would recommend using one or not if in a non-let's play setting. Um, um, I don't know. This game is definitely designed to be kind of lose yourself in, um, uh, but subtly guide you. But on the other hand, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes games are uh, too obtuse, and you gotta look them up. I mean, especially like old school adventure games. That are some of the solutions to some puzzles. And then there's that one stupid puzzle in Good Nago that's really hard and you can't even, you can't, you kind of just have to brute force your way through it. You can't even, like the, you can't even look it up in some, in some walk, in some guide. So yeah, I, I need to get a better, an upgrade to the Axiom Disruptor. Um, uh, oh, this room, I remember, was really hard. Oh, those things. Oh, boy. Run away, run away, run away. Is there anything anywhere else I can go? Oh wow, I forgot. I keep forgetting that they saves their spawn point. And I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> oh boy, okay, let's see. Good thing it saved. It's a good thing that this game is so much just wandering around and exploring, because then you don't then you have time to try and make sense of the story. Again, the story is incredibly convoluted. Um, uh, there's actually one moment that I can't wait to talk about, but I'm not gonna dare spoil it. Um, it's funny because it it's so easy to like, like it's not given any like visual weight, uh, which 
so it's like not framed as a big deal, but it absolutely is. Again, well, if you play the game, you probably know what you're what um and what I'm talking about. Hey, we got it about this. Um, uh, <laughs> suckers. Um. Uh, Uh, but I'm curious as to, um, if you can figure it out. So let me know in the comments, and please give it a spoiler warning, like, tag. Like, say spoiler warning. Okay, let's see here. Um. Whatever happened to your one bullet? Man, some of these noises can be pretty harsh. I mean, it adds to- I like it. It adds to the harsh and cold feeling of the world and the glitchy nature, but I can also see how some people might find it great. Yes. Um, Yeah, those guys do a lot of damage. One thing that nice I'll say about those enemies, they don't... I'm not afraid of them. Die! Die! Another of those stupid spider things. Oh well, well at least I got farther that time. Let's see. Uh, is there any other way I can go? That's one of the reasons why I love Time Spinners. It was like it didn't have any of these like challenges. I mean, boss fights are in some ways the worst. I actually am not a huge fan of boss fights in Metroidvania games. Um, a lot of times I'm just like, I die a couple times and I'm like, I just wanna go, just why are you stopping me from experiencing the story? Shoot him. Shoot him. Stein Gray's Guide to Cheesing Enemies. Just jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. And then she did I. But you still can't get up there and that makes you mad. Okay, well. That was a waste of time. I apologize for that, esteemed viewers. Just So what I want to know is, is it healing him or is it just like switching out his body? Like that. Like that. Thing. 
Doesn't look like I can use that right now, but that's good knowledge to have. I don't think I ever discovered that. I mean, if, if, the, if replaying old area, old segments of the game is going to um, uh, is going to um, uh, make you find secrets like that naturally, then I'm all for it. It's just not all games do that. Team Disruptor is a Just out of range of the hitboxes. Ooh. Yes! Woo! I did it! With skill! I just gotta... Wait, so now that I think about it, I, 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 I'm guessing save points kind of act like bonfires in Dark Souls. 
you know, they save your progress and whatnot, but they also, um, uh, respawn all the enemies. I remember having more problems with, well, one, that room and with these guys than I, than I did this time. Maybe I've gotten better, or maybe it just wasn't as bad as I remembered. That's a lot of beating hearts. Beating hearts, not beating hearts. Uh, oh man, they've got like homing thingies. Let's see. Maybe not, though. Who knows? Not me. Oh, this area. I forgot about it. See, yeah, those guys shoot lasers. Those lasers might be good or bad. Depending on whether you wish them or not. I think. This is not a good combo. Now I have a safe This music is interesting. It honestly kind of feels out of place from the rest of the game, but like not in a bad way? I don't know. Oh, they're still glitched. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily do something. Yeah. What's 
this again? Oh yeah, now we can jump higher! Whee! I wonder if I can get back to the original area now. I don't think so yet, but hey! Oh man, already I'm like, this jump feels so nice. Huh? Well, at least I still have my super awesome big, big boy jump. Oh man, I said that in the worst way possible. And now, let's see. Nice. I can fill out those pesky save point. So we're gonna head back here now. Time. Yeah, I still got time. He said, knowing that that joke is. He's overused that joke, and also. Um. Uh, and also where. And also the joke about knowing where. Should probably call it in a couple minutes though, because I have to eat before I go to class. Let's go in here first. Ow! they blended enough like if you're really looking for them you can catch you can catch their things really easily but if you're not looking um it can be very easy to miss um so like this part is what i'm talking about the, the things that jump out of you. so when they when they catch you by surprise it never feels like okay that was just a, a trap you set in the axiom bridge Another no 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 which I do know because it is gibberish. So I just wonder if more up there. Oh well. Oh, this room I remember being really annoyed by. Now. This little shortcut. Holy shnikes on my first game. He just walked in. <clears throat> Dead. Oh, and I'm sorry, all the way back here. Alright, we're gonna go. Um find uh see, I should probably stop but I am not going to instead I'm going to go back and just try and get it to another save point. Wow that's a much bigger jump. Woo! I'm not gonna go that way, I'm gonna go the other way. Again I'm really glad that it saves the fact that I have been there. It just feels nice, you know. Let's see. What's in here again? Ah, 
running health, please. Jump! Oh boy. Well, that was one where it did feel a bit like a trick, but eh. It also jumped out before I could hit me, so I don't really care. I can't get up there, and I do care. I should do like a travel show or whatever, where the, uh, I don't know why I just started thinking about this, um, but I should do like a travel show where the whole premise is like, Jekyll Steingray boldly, boldly goes where Jekyll Steingray has not gone before. If I die here, I'm gonna... Um... Um... Stop recording in it. Okay, I was wondering why the background was moving. Okay, that's all for today, esteemed viewers. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have something to say, let me know in the comments. Um, um, if you want to get notified when I record new X and Verge content, um, please be sure to subscribe and the bell. Um, all the things help me with um, the algorithm, and plus I would love to hear your thoughts on the, um, on the lawsuit, including stuff I got wrong with citations, if you have any. Uh, if you have any ideas. Anyway, uh, I'll put a link to some of the articles um, about the, um, the things in the description, the lawsuit in the description below, along with my Twitter and letterbox. Um, and, uh, um, might record another Stardew Valley episode, so again, if you want to be notified when I do that, um, subscribe. I mean, I definitely am going to, but I might do it later today. Anyway. Um, uh, okay, esteemed viewers. Um, that will be all, I guess. Um, uh, 
I've been Jekyll Stein Gray. Uh, okay, show the video to anyone you think would like it, and I'll see you in another video. Uh, just a second.